Kerbal Space Program is a lovely game about launching little green aliens into space. You can learn all sorts of cool stuff about rocketry and astrodynamics with it. But what if you wanted to do none of that? What if you wanted to just stay on the Kerbal's home planet of Kerbin? How far in the game could you get? Let's start up a new science mode game here. We'll call it Kerbal Program because we are not going to space today. Instead, we'll start by doing some science on the launch pad. Jebediah here will give us his crew report, his EVA report, and a surface sample. That gives us enough science to unlock the next node on the tech tree, which gives us the thermometer, which we can use to get even more science. Then we do the same thing we just did on the launch pad, except on the runway and with our new science part, and we get a little bit more science. That lets us unlock the next node, which includes the barometer, and I think you get where this is going now. After running the first few science modules at all of the game's available launch pads and runways, we've earned enough science to unlock rover wheels, and now it's time to build our first moving vehicle, a science car. It turns out that you can get unique science data from all the different parts of the Space Center, and not just the big ones like the R&D labs or the Vehicle Assembly Building, even little things like the fuel tanks at the Vehicle Assembly Building, so long as your craft is actually touching them when the experiment is run. Driving around the Space Center lets us unlock the Science Lab, which is the key to this entire run. The lab takes any science we collect and over time gives us five times as much science back. There's also a 25% bonus for analyzing the data at the same planet where you collected it. So for each science we collect, we end up with 6.25 science in the lab, and we get to keep the original science too, so that's 7.25. The only catch is there's a 90% penalty for adding data to a lab when we're landed at Kerbin, so we need to get our labs into the air somehow. That shouldn't be too much of a problem though, especially since we can land them after all the data has been added and let the research happen on the ground. So how much science can we theoretically get from Kerbin alone? You can get 47.4 science per location while landed at Kerbin. Kerbin has 11 biomes, plus there are 38 buildings in science mode, so that's 49 places, which gives you 2,322.6 science. Flying in the air, you can run fewer experiments, but they're each worth more, so you get 61.6 .6 science for each of the 11 main biomes, which is an additional 677.6 .6 science for a total of 3,000.2 science so far. Then we multiply by 7.25 for the labs, which gives us 21,751.45 science. And to finish the tech tree, you would need just 18,468 science. So it's definitely possible. You could hypothetically finish the tech tree in Kerbal Space Program without even reaching the upper atmosphere. But it would be grueling. You have to drive around to nearly every building in the KSC, plus fly over nearly every biome in an airplane, throw all your science into a few flying laboratories, and then wait for the labs to finish researching everything. But hey, at least it's not rocket science. And as always, thanks for watching.